Hello everyone. Again, Pranav here. Today, I am going to explain Hydrogenator Part 4. All other links of the previous part are given under the description box. Let's start with generator stator part. The stator is the outer stationary part of the machine which has the criteria of A, the outer cylindrical frame called yak, which is made either of welded sheet, steel or cast iron, and to be designed to withstand the mass of stator core, as well as to handle all sorts of mechanical and electrical forces during operation. Number B, the magnetic path, which comprises a set of slotted steel laminations called stator core, pressed into the cylindrical space inside the outer frame. Stator assembly comprises of one stator frame and core, two stator winding that is bar winding or coil winding, number three stator sole plates. Hydel plants are generally operated as picking units with several start stop. Obviously with many switching operation in lifetime, the generator should have to be constructed to have a provision for better thermal expansion. Stator, a largest part in the whole hydro generator is designed for electrical and mechanical applications. Stator of vertical shaft hydro generators are of larger diameters. Stator frames of large hydro generators with salient pole rotor are so designed to withstand the underneath forces depending upon its operating conditions. A, mechanical forces that is axial, radial and tangential, which are transmitted through the stator frame and then passed onto the foundation. B, unbalanced magnetic pull between stator and rotor. C, static load acting on frame. The stator frame must be of robust and rugged and is made of welded steel construction to prevent any sort of distortion during operation. The stator frame of large hydroelectric generators is usually designed in polygon shapes, which are split into number of sections in accordance with the number of core segment. Mostly assemble all together is to be made at the site location itself. To minimize the unbalanced magnetic pull between stator and rotor, the casing has to be machined very precisely to ensure uniform air gap between the two. Stator casing is fabricated from structural steel plates and designed to withstand the extreme stresses that may develop due to short circuits. Generator stator core has the function to provide a smooth path for the magnetic flux having space and support for the stator windings with the ability to transfer heat and machine torque. Formation of stator core assembly is made by thousands of insulated cold rolled thin laminated silicon steel sheets that is called CRGO material of each thickness 0.35 millimeter that are stacked upon each other and clamped between substantial side plates. Electrical sheet steel is a very low carbon steel produced under specially controlled conditions to secure low magnetic hysteresis loss and with the addition of silicon to produce high electrical resistivity for the reduction of eddy currents within the thickness of the sheet. Eddy current loss varies as the 
square of the thickness and coarse steel is usually of thickness between 0.35 to 0.50, that is 0.50 millimeter. Both sides of each electro sheet is varnished and the varnish thickness is approximately 0.5 micrometer. Technical logic behind the formation of the generator stator core by bunching of thin laminated layers of steel sheets instead of solid steel is to avoid excessive eddy current losses in the core. To achieve low eddy current losses, the individual steel sheet of the core material should be thin enough and have high resistivity, but still be able to provide effective flow path for the magnetic flux. In case of generators, where the diameter is too large, stator lamination cannot be punched in one circular piece. In such cases, the stator laminations are punched in segments. A number of segments are assembled together to form one circular laminations. The circular laminations are then stacked together in a continuous ring fashion. Each layer is overlapping the previous layer by a half segment. Stacks with segments are placed around inner circumference of the stator frame. The stator core is divided into packs of 50 to 60 millimeters. Each pack of core segment is separated by spacers that allow for air to flow between their packs. Because of high currents in the armature winding, the losses are high. By having radial ventilation ducts, effective stator cooling area becomes higher. Core segments with additional slot is to be provided for insertion of temperature sensors in tooth and in yolk to monitor the stator core temperature during operation of the generator. Therefore, in slot, two temperature sensors are placed, one in tip and one in at the yolk. There are usually four temperature sensor slots within the core, which houses in total eight temperature sensors. The cold loop test is to be performed to in indirectly measure the interlaminar insulation resistance between the core segments. The diagram presents the circular formation as well as segment of a lamination. Stator sole plates. Stator sole plates, installations and grouting arrangements are very much relevant in vertical shaft hydrogenator units where the bearing bracket is mounted directly to the foundation. <clears throat> These areas are subjected to static and dynamic forces due to rotor weight, vibration and hydraulic loading and, and always be at risk of deterioration. In vertical shaft machines, in order to strengthen the stator supports, there may have the provision of separate sole plates, a shallow base ring, a deep conical framework, and direct support from the turbine casing. The sole plate may be of an inverted box into the concrete foundation, which is completely filled with sufficient amount of aggregate in the epoxy mixture and to which the generator frame or bearing is secured by long foundation bolts passing through the sole plate to withstand 
extra phase of load sole plates for vertical shaft units may well be extended peripherally with flanges bolted and doweled together to form a complete ring thus local loading on concrete foundation is drastically reduced for vertical shaft machines therefore the stator frame core and sole plate all are being an important role in building a rigid structure to handle undue forces now sole plates must be rigid enough to provide vibration support and leveling support for a machine the diagram represents all its accessories and bolts nuts and seams everything steel sole plates are base plates grouted with epoxy material into concrete foundation stator winding in case of generator where the diameter is too large stator lamination cannot be punched in one circular piece but the laminations are punched in segments a number of segments are assembled together to form one circular laminations stator core provides a low magnetic path in the stator current and holds the stator winding <laughs> machines of three phase winding are always connected in star with neutral art star connection of winding eliminates the third harmonics from the line emf electromotive force the stator winding is made of isolated coils that are inserted into the formed slots of the stacked stator sheets there are finally and usually two coils per slot generally copper is used as the winding material it is important that the formation of coils are to be made in such a way that after placement it should be secured inside the slots and also at the end winding region or in overhang portion wedges of non metallic material are used to secure the windings in the radial direction and a tight fit is ensured by ripple springs the tight fit prevents the winding to vibrate during machine operation which otherwise could damage the winding insulation and lead to machine failure the winding of each phase distributed over several poles the number of poles of the stator is equal to the number of poles in the rotor the magnitude of the voltage induced in the stator winding is a function of the magnetic field intensity the rotating speed of the rotor and the number of turns in the stator winding there are several types of armature windings such as concentric windings of several types cranked coils split windings of various types wave windings and lap windings of various types modern large machines typically are owned with double layer lap windings either integral slot or fractional slot windings each form of winding which are distributed in the stator has its own advantage and disadvantages however the basic criteria is to obtain three balanced and sinusoidal voltages having least amount of harmonic content harmonic voltages and currents both are detrimental to the machine and other equipment in a number of ways if the three phases of the winding are distributed at 120 electrical degrees apart then three balanced voltages are generated creating a three phase system it is also to be noted if three balanced currents of equal magnitudes and 120 electrical degrees apart flow in a balanced three phase winding 
then a magnetic field of constant magnitude is produced in the air gap of machine's rotor and stator. This magnetic field revolves around the machine at a frequency equal to the frequency of the currents flowing through the winding. Large salient pole synchronous generators with conventional slot distributed winding has the basic problem to have magnetic saturation in the iron core. The magnetic saturation has forced to limit the armature terminal voltage and to have maintained the actual value of the terminal voltage, you know. The machine requires more excitation power, which leads to additional losses in the damper windings, that is in the field windings. Hence, the efficiency of the machine decreases. The magnetic saturation can be reduced by enlarging the cross-sectional area of the field windings. But in order to maintain the total machine size, there would have been to reduce the rotor pole bodies, which then causes an increase in flux density. As a consequence, the maximum output power of the generator would, would not be increased or the dimensions of the machine would not be decreased despite the increase in the magnetomotive force, that is MMF. In this case, the efficiency of the generator considerably decreases or the total weight of the generator increases. In order to overcome these design limitations, the fractional slot concentrated winding technique may be deployed to make the possible to increase the machine inductance and permeability of the poles in order to achieve lighter, cheaper and high efficiency salient pole synchronous generator with a simpler structure without sacrificing the output power. Stator with windings, stator windings of a salient pole generator. The diagram is placed for the stator windings and the, in salient pole generators. Comparison of distributed windings and concentrated windings. Distributed windings can make better use of the stator and rotor structure and also decrease harmonic comparing to concentrated windings. Concentrated windings offer some significant advantages over distributed windings. One, simpler construction. Second, no large end connections. Third, low copper usage and losses for significantly higher slot fill factor, that is 78%. Five, reduction in total length of the machine. Six, reduction in machine manufactured weight and also cost. Seven, no mutual inductance between phases causing a higher fault tolerance. Eight, lower per unit stator winding resistance. Nine, providing higher inductance compared to distributed windings for the same magnetic flux linkage. 10, due to segmentation of stator core, possibility to use pre-made coils in stator. 11, the coils are made up of rectangular copper conductors. 12, Furthermore, less cooling material is required for cooling of the stator windings because of the large range of the available space at stator slots. Disadvantages associated with concentrated windings. One, higher cogging torque. What is cogging torque? 
Coggin torque is the torque due to the interaction between the rotor and the stator slots. Potential for higher acoustic noise and vibration. Third one, low winding factor. Four, lower output torque due to a low winding factor. Five, decrease in saliency ratio. And last one, that is six, higher eddy current losses in high speed machine applications. Conventional slot distributed winding, that is overlapping winding, and fractional slot concentrated winding, concentrated non overlapping winding diagram shows. Double layer wind winding are the most widely used class of windings. Both lap and wave types configuration are possible in double layer winding because of inherent problem of wave winding, double layer lap winding, either integral slot or fractional slot winding is usually used for stator windings. Wave winding, the wave winding is possibly only with particular number of conductors and slots combinations. It is not always possible to have the standard stampings in the winding shop consist of the number of slots according to the design requirements. In such cases, dummy coils not electrically connected to the rest of the winding are employed and are placed in the slots only to adjust mechanical balance of the machine. For given number of poles and armature conductors, it provides more electromotive force than that of the lap winding. In wave winding, the conductors are always connected to two parallel paths, irrespective of the number of poles of the machine. Hence, wave winding is used in high voltage and low current machines, lap winding. The number of parallel paths are equal to the total number of poles in lap winding. The number of slots per pole per phase called SPP, which can be defined as follows. SPP is equal to Q by M into P, where SPP is the number of slots per pole per phase. Q is the number of stator slots, P is the number of poles, M is the number of phases. In two layer lap windings, the number of coils will equal the number of slots and the number of coil groups will equal the number of poles multiplied by the number of phases. In these cases, the average number of coils per group is SPP. Let's stop here, further to be continued at later stage. Thank you for listening the video. Kindly do like, share and subscribe. Your subscription would en encourage me to post more videos. Also share your comments or feedbacks inside the dedicated comment section if you have any suggestions or specific topic you want, then let me know in the comments section. Thank you.